So welcome back to the platform of Lectures 360. So this season we have decided, this winter season, uh, we have decided to bring something for our audience pertaining to kids. And we have decided to start two new series related to kids. And that series would be comprising of kids' short story section. And another section would be, another playlist would be about kids' long story section so that we can cater a diverse group of audience mm, through our platform. So basically we have select these stories, short stories, as well as long stories would be fully illustrated. And these stories have been taken from the Esbon publishers and they are famous for their beautiful illustrations and their good moral stories and as well as their long uh, stories section as well. So basically the idea was taken back um, in during COVID when we were deciding to start something for the kids, but due to some other um, busy other reasons and the busy schedule, we were not able to conclude that activity, but basically using the listener. Whereas this book is having a more text and less illustration, but it is mostly for the elder age group children. So this is Norse myth. And the Aesop stories are quite famous for their beautiful moral and the um, moral section of the uh, stories. So it will be having friendship, uh, morals, stories related to friendship, morals, cunningness, related to retorts, related to compens, and all that. So we have a quite good bunch of stories over here. And again, over here, the illustrations are, are, are there, but it's not quite interlinked in with the text so do you have separate illustrations on separate pages as well whereas you have some mixed illustrations with the text but the ratio is quite you know smaller as compared to the other ones the i really personally like this book because the illustration in this book is quite amazing and let me show you show you <clears throat> See, the illustrations are quite amazing. You'll find full pager illustrations. And the text is maintained in a way that people, kids would enjoy illustrations more as compared to a thickened version of the text. So this, is, this book is quite uh, suitable for the, the kids ranging, uh, having, age group, having age group 5 to 8 years. The Princess and the Pea is my personal favorite, by the way. So let's have a look. You have these stories. Quite a good amount of stories are already there. So you won't be bored very quickly with this book. I can assure you that. Well, 100 illustrative stories is another very brilliant uh, collection of stories. So it has literally 100 stories inside it. I, let me show you. See, the content is, can go on. basically using the listener, whereas this book is having a more text and less illustration, but it is mostly for the elder age group children. So this is Norse myth. And the Aesop stories are quite famous for their beautiful moral and the um, moral section of the uh, stories. So it will be having friendship, uh, morals, Stories related to friendship morals, cunningness, related to retorts, related to compens, and all that. So we have a quite good bunch of stories over here. And again, over here, the illustrations are, are, are there, but it's not quite interlinked in with the text. So do you have separate illustrations on separate pages as well. Whereas you have some mixed illustrations with the text, but the ratio is quite 
you know, smaller as compared to the other ones. The I really personally like this book because the illustration in this book is quite amazing. And let me show you. Show you. <clears throat> See, the illustrations are quite amazing. You'll find full pager illustrations. And the text is maintained in a way that people, kids would enjoy illustrations more as compared to a thickened version of the text. So this, is, this book is quite uh, suitable for the, the kids ranging, uh, having, age, having age group 5 to 8 years. The Princess and the Pea is my personal favorite, by the way. So let's have a look. You have these stories. Quite a good amount of stories are already there. So you won't be bored very quickly with this book. I can assure you that. Well, 100 illustrative stories is another very brilliant uh, collection of stories. So it has literally 100 stories inside it. I, let me show you. See, the content is, can go on. So let me show you the illustrations. Over here you'll find uh, lesser illustrations and more text because the stories should uh, go on with the, with the length of the book because it's already 500 pages a book. So they have to cover 100 stories so they have kept the illustrations quite minimal. So it's a, basically a minimalist collection whereas this book the greek myths as one's greek myths is quite an amazing for those who really want to know about the greeks and their and their myths related to zeus poseidon and all that and see the illustrations are quite uh, quite enriched you'll find enriched illustration over here full page illustrations so let me attack uh, what, what what myths are there wooden horse minotaur Perseus and Gorgon, Toltas, Hercules, and many more others. So you'll also find a map, I think. There is a map inside it as well. Yeah, and some and a and little bit detail about the gods and their and their lineage, family lineage. So quite a good collection. I personally like this. I hope you would would find it, it quite fascinating for your kids. See you there in the series, short series and long stories. Till then, bye bye.